Stranger Things Season 4, Henry Creel Explained. Henry Creel, Number 1, and Vecna. Three people, one being. It was the reveal at the end of the episode that we certainly didn't expect. With this, I thought I'd take a deeper look into Henry Creel and explain all that there is to know about the character. So let's get into it. Here is Stranger Things Season 4, Henry Creel Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Henry Creel started off in the show as just somebody as part of a story that Victor Creel was telling. However, he ended up morphing into the main antagonist and villain of the story with a far deeper backstory and connection to Eleven that we could have ever imagined. Henry Creel is the son of Victor Creel, who we saw glimpses of throughout the season before eventually residing in a psychiatric hospital. Henry was born in 1947 with his father being Victor, his mother being Virginia, and having an older sister called Alice who he lived with inside of the Creel house which was where they moved to in the late 50s looking for a new start. The origin to Henry's powers are something that are often questioned, but it seemed as though he was born with the ability to sense the supernatural and be in touch with something far greater than this world. This was something that led Henry to be considered a little bit of an outcast and be seen as sensitive which led him to spend a lot of time on his own. Other members of his family were also aware of this behavior and would address it from time to time. The move to Hawkins was something that was supposed to be good for Henry, which in one sense it was. He didn't want to move there initially, but living in the Krill house was something that allowed him to tap into his powers more and find who he truly wanted to be. He realized that as well as being in touch with things far beyond this world, he had telekinesis as an ability and started practicing it in his spare time. He would slaughter animals for leisure using his powers, which would then eventually go on to get blamed on a wild animal in the neighborhood. He was acting as a superior predator, just like the Black Widow spiders that he stumbled across inside of the house that he moved into. He grew a strong attachment to spiders whilst he was younger, due to somewhat relating to them. They often mean no harm, but are often seen as these creatures to be fearful of, something that Henry wanted to be seen as and related to. Once Henry got to the point of being able to utilize his powers to the best of his control, he then started utilizing them on his own family. He discovered not only did he have telekinesis, but he had the ability to be able to show his victims moments from their past that they wished to forget, which made them extremely vulnerable and scared. He did this on his father, Victor, showing him the shelling that he let off on a house which ultimately caused the devastation of innocent people. This led Victor to become more and more paranoid about the house. However, his mother Virginia knew exactly what was going on, or she at least had a suspicion. She wanted Henry to be taken away due to the behavior, but this was something that Henry was not prepared to let happen. So instead, he used his own powers on her whilst his father was stopping the radio under the impression that the house was haunted. Even then, once they got into the corridor, Henry used his powers on his father and his sister allowing Victor to be framed for all of the events that had happened, which rendered Henry into the state of a coma, due to not realizing how much using his powers to that extent would have taken out of him. He did all of this because he didn't believe in the structure that humanity bestows upon itself, the very concept of time and the idea of living a life that essentially gets repeated day in and day out. It was something that he just simply could not comprehend and believed he would create a better world, once Henry woke up from his coma, we saw Brenner, who was initially notified of Henry's behavior by his mother when she was concerned, took him, faked his death, and then proceeded to study him and control him whilst then identifying and replicating the trait that gave him the powers. He did this with the intention to make clones. From here, Henry then lived a life as Peter Ballard, which was a life that he was forced to live by Martin Brenner in the facility. Here we saw a kind-hearted, caring individual who was looking out for the subjects in the facility, and we saw him take a particular interest in Eleven by being kind to her and offering her a safe way out. This was likely due to two reasons. One, because he noticed the potential in her powers that she had, but also because Eleven was being bullied throughout her time in the facility and was seen as an outcast just like he was when he was in school, when trying to fit in. He saw traits of himself in her. As he got Eleven on his side and planned an escape, we saw him get her to utilize her powers in order to get a device out of his neck that Brenner put in there many years ago, to enable Brenner to have the control and restrict his powers. Once that was done, we then saw the final side to Henry Creel, 
It was a version of him that was embodying all of his behaviors from when he was younger, and wiping out everybody that essentially got in his way, carrying out the visions that he had when he was younger. He wanted to get Eleven on his side one last time due to seeing how powerful she was. However, once she declined, he then turned on her, but was not strong enough to defeat her, which then caused his final transformation from Henry Krill into the birth of Vecna, the five-star general of the Upside Down. Losing to Eleven caused his physical form to essentially turn to dust as the gateway to the Upside Down opened up. He was then shot into the Upside Down as he was hit with bolts that then transformed his appearance into the menacing, iconic red look that we came to see in Season 4, Volume 1. I won't touch on Vecna due to the fact that I have a whole video breaking him down, which you can find by clicking on the i button. Henry Creel, when he was in human form, had multiple deaths to his name. He had killed 13 people in total, which is harrowing. Granted, the majority of them were the people that kept him trapped in the facility for many years, and people that he despised the behavior of, but 13 is a lot of people to kill, especially considering most of them were done in that one occurrence which was known as the Hawkins Facility Massacre and only three people had ever survived. That was Brenner, Eleven, and his father Victor. Brenner appeared to be spared or mistakenly presumed to be dead along with his father Victor, who he left alive to be framed. Eleven was the only person to ever defeat him. Henry Creel is an interesting character and I'm hoping we'll get more of a backstory on him throughout Volume 2 of Season 4. So, there you have it, Henry Creel explained. If you want to see a wide array of Stranger Things content such as the ending explained, Vecna explained, or what I believe the five most powerful moments are in the show, then hit on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find an entire playlist. If you'd like to suggest a TV show or movie that you'd like me to cover, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. If you want to see what I've rated other movies and TV shows that just haven't made the cut for me to be able to put it in a video, then feel free to head over to my Letterboxd profile. It can be filled with movies old and new, so there's a wide range over there. I update it whenever I watch something new, so feel free to check it out. Were you surprised by Henry Creel? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.